Hello there, my name is Dejan and I'm from ssdshare.com. We offer high performance web hosting and we created this demo uh, to showcase how fast Flatsome can work on our services. So what we have here is a speed report of the default installation of uh, Flatsome. As you can see we have page speed score of 62 and white slow score to 65. We want to increase this to the maximum possible score like we did on our demo page which is around 99%. So after you install WordPress and the default package of Flatsum, you end up with this uh, with this uh, benchmark on GT metrics. So in order to get started, let's see what we have to fix. So these are pretty easy to take care of. Right now we have zero points on enable zip compression and browser caching. We could take care of this with a plugin like AutoOptimize or um, W3 Total Cache. <coughs> so let's get started. So let's start with the first step and install W3 Total Cache for WordPress. So this will really help a lot with the score because we have uh, see the problem with zip compression. Uh, it's very critical for GT metrics and Google Insights to have this up and running. It's really easy to take care of it. So we install Double Tree Total Cache and we activate it. Now that we did it, we have the performance menu. We can start with the general settings. Here we can enable page cache, minify, opcode cache is enabled by default on our hosting. We can enable database cache, object cache, browser cache. CDN is something that we're going to do later in this tutorial and save all settings from here we go to browser cache here we have the zip compression enabled let's see how much this have raised our GT metrics score let's click retest This will take less than a minute. Double Tree Total Cache is a really good plugin that can help with a lot of stuff. A very important part is the CDN. Okay, so we have 93%. The next thing we need to take care of, and it will be our next step is the browser caching of these static resources. Okay, let's get to the next step. So in this step, we will take care about the leverage browser caching. This is really easy to do. To sort it out, I have uh, created this tutorial in our site ssdshare.com where in step 4 <clears throat> we have the htaccess code that you can add in order to get this up and running so I already added it on top of the htaccess file after testing the performance again we have from 93 and 74 we jumped to 97 and 83. The next step here, we have 92 points for optimized images. Uh, when you're using an actual WooCommerce uh, site with a lot of product images, you will probably get a lot of these warnings. So in the next step, I will show you how to take care of this.
Okay, so here we have the we want to take care of the optimized images warning. We have uh, basically just these images here <coughs> that it uh, suggests that we optimize. If you have a larger website with more images, there, they might be more, but when you have a proper um, solution for um, image compression, uh, you, will, you won't uh, have any problems. Um, on our web hosting, we have the OptiPNG um, and the, and the uh, Opti JPEG solutions installed where you could basically run them and it will automatically uh, compress them to the proper size so GT metrics won't give you any warnings. These are the solutions that GT metrics uses themselves. So <clears throat> in case you're not using our services, uh, you can do this by installing the Smush plugin. It's from WPMO Dev Team. Basically, uh, this plugin will um, compress all of the images on your website and make them um, really um, with uh, really high quality lossless compression, and you'll be able to keep the uh, the higher score. So this is the score after installing and re-smushing the images. Basically it went through all of the uh, image attachments on my website and it compressed them. So this is a huge helper. If you have a smaller website it's the solution for you. If you have a larger one uh, you could use the tools on our um, on our site on our hosting to, to take care of this. Okay, so we have a complaint that the CSS file is uh, is not cached for long enough. We can take care of this later with HD access. So let's see what what else we can do. Our optimized images is at ninety nine percent. It requests us to. Do a two percent reduction on this file, but we can uh, just download the optimized copy and okay, we can put it in downloads. I guess maybe I can directly copy the link and we can do this. Okay, it's in the OP content upload 2016. Okay, let's do it. Why not? Load 2016. Okay, the file name is called Dummy 2. So we get the file, remove Dummy 2. Pack and we move to me to to do me to me to that JPEG. Okay, so we now have the optimized version just so we can get rid of the warning. If you're if you're able to, to use shells the command line tools that we have it can be really helpful especially OptiPNG and OptiJPEG and so now, now that we have um, taken care of this part okay we have 98% what else can we do uh, maybe we can uh, go to the um, Okay, we can't minify this one and this one. We can also get from the optimized version. We can skip it. 98 is pretty good. A very important part is to enable the content delivery network. This is very critical to get a high score on the low rating. What we can do here is um, use the Amazon CloudFront. 
we'll get to this in the next step. Okay, so we reached step five where we're going to take care of the content delivery network. A great cho choice for a content delivery network is Amazon CloudFront. They offer 50 gigabytes for free and from there it's like 8 cents per gigabyte. I have a customer with 60,000 visitors and he pays less than $5 for traffic. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and log into CloudFront. Many people consider Cloudflare for a, for a CDN, but it's not exactly a CDN. It uh, works like a reverse proxy. Of course, it has its benefits, but a real CDN is a better solution. So I have this user here that I'm going to delete and create again. Okay this user we're going to call Flatsum. We're giving it programmatic access, administrator permissions. We create the user and we download the credentials. Okay, so this user have an access key and a secret key. Let's go ahead and copy them to the settings of the CDN. So we go to Performance General Settings in the Dow3 Total Cache plugin that you installed earlier. We go to CDN section, we click Enable, and we select Amazon Cloud from in the Origin Pool Mirror section. We click Save Settings. Now we're going to get a warning that we need to specify the credentials. We click specified here and we enter the access key and the secret key. These are my keys, they're for um, temporary use. I'm going to eliminate them later. So we save the settings. <clears throat> Okay, settings are saved. Let's try to create a distribution. We created it successfully. Okay, so we created a distribution in CloudFront <coughs> using the API keys. From here, we will go to CloudFront. and we'll go to the distributions section. There we have the flatsum shopfiles.com distribution that is in progress. This distribution uses the, um, the following domain name. Okay. We copy it and we paste it in the settings. We now save. Okay. So we're ready with this part. What happens now is that Amazon CloudFront transfers all of the images, CSS files, and JavaScript to their service servers and it's still in progress. When it shows deployed, which should be in a few minutes, we will be able to use the CDN and do another GT metrics test that should really show a much higher score. So I'm going to pause the recording for now and resume once the status becomes deployed. So well, guys, so our uh, CDN finally shows status deployed and our latest performance benchmark shows this result. What we can do next is try to take care of the 
problem with the make your HTTP requests. We can do this um, by hosting our web fonts locally. Right now, it's um, the Google fonts and the Gravatar avatars from the social login that produce this um, this amount of external uh, calls to JavaScript files that we can try to decrease. This will be our next task. Okay guys, so in this step we're going to take care of the final problems that we uh, discussed earlier and this is the external JavaScript files and the web fonts that lowered our score. So for this purpose I'm installing AutoOptimize which is a great another great caching and optimization plugin. Uh, most people will um, uh, be um, cautious regarding installing two different uh, caching plugins like we have right now AutoOptimize and DoubleTree Total Cache but they seem to work pretty well together and there doesn't seem to be any performance impact. So what I did was I installed AutoOptimize, I enabled all of the settings regarding HTML, Code, JavaScript and CSS. I have added the URL of our CDN from CloudFront and I also clicked to remove emojis, remove query string from static content and combine and load fonts asynchronously with web fonts. I saved the changes and this is the final score that we're getting from GT metrics 99% and 97% on Wiselow. As you can see, the number of DOM elements is a problem for GT metrics, but there isn't much that we can do. This is the main shop page, it has plenty of elements. If we test with um, a product page or something else, we might get a higher score, maybe, we are not sure, but for now this score is pretty good. I think we can leave it as is and we can enjoy our really fast website. Let's see how it works for the logged out user. Here we have the pages, the block, everything. Let's see it in Chrome where we actually have a counter for the page load time. Okay, some of the smaller pages are already in less than a half, less than a second, less than a half a second, like 30. Uh, <laughs> One, 0 0.39 seconds which is a pretty good result okay so um, I think that's it for me regarding this tutorial I hope it was useful I am new to creating tutorials I'm <clears throat> decided to start do doing this so I can promo promote my web hosting services at ssdshare.com we have managed wordpress and joomla web hosting starting from five dollars a month so uh, we're going to give coupon code flatsome for everyone that's interested just go there and give it a try um, so that's it for now from 67 to 99 percent so i think we did a pretty good job I hope this was useful. My name is Dan. It was great. Thank you.